Hey there, it's Courtney with RCK Livestock where we document our journey to self-sustainability through our garden and our livestock. Today we're going to be setting up our garden, getting it all fenced in and ready to go for the 2022 garden season. What we've got right now I'll walk through with you but we currently have four beds ready to go. Um, so in those beds today we'll plant some radishes and cauliflower and then we're going to finish up the fence so my chickens can't eat those. Um, and then hopefully we can get to building some of the other garden beds. I'll throw in a clip here of us about a month or so ago trying to cut down, um, cut down the length of some of the railroad ties we were using and me completely destroying the chain that we had on it. So we had to go find a new chain for the chainsaw and Ray cut up the remainder of the railroad ties of the garden beds for me. So I'll walk through what we've got now and then show you what we've got going on. You go get your gardening tools. Daddy, come on. <laughs> so this is going to be the gate um, that we walk through. We currently have this fence set up. All we did was took some extra T-posts that uh, we weren't really going to use on our main fence um, and pounded them down to 36 inches and then took some uh, 36 inch tall chicken wire and ran it along right here. So I decided not to paint the T-posts right on any of these fence posts that um, we're going to be using for the fencing because there is a chance that we're going to be using um, the fence post as like a trellis system so I didn't want to um, have the paint get on to the plants and I don't know if there's anything behind that but I'd rather them just be a raw piece of metal instead of fresh paint on something that we're going to be trellising to. So, uh, we do have the one set up, and then this is going to be our uh, fence that runs north and south. It's about 50 feet. Um, I have the string line made. I just have to tighten it up so then we're able to um, accurately put the fence posts in. We're putting the T-posts in about six feet apart, um, and then we'll just do the same thing with the chicken wire right there. Here is my four garden beds that I have ready to go. They are four foot by seven feet. And these ones are filled with a uh, topsoil compost mix that we found on the property. And then there's going to be kind of an alleyway right here. And then we will put four more beds um, where we have those sitting. They will be staggered a bit just because of the angle of our fences. And then with the remainder, that's just some wood that needs cut up. Um, but with the remainder, we'll plant in ground if we're able to. So that's the point that we're starting with. So let's get started on the job. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to set up the garden beds. Uh, we're gonna bring in the railroad ties and then once we get those kind of built up, we'll be able to get the fence going. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright We have 
love, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right We've got all four beds made, so the next step for us is that we're going to be putting in these little gussets. Um, we're going to put in these little pieces of tin that are just going to kind of hold the um, frame of the garden bed together from pushing out. It's nothing too spectacular. We just cut up some tin that we had laying around and we're going to screw them in each of the corners and um, then the beds will be ready to fill with dirt. That's what we were using the tin for. We got all of the pieces screwed on to the railroad ties on each of the corners of each of the beds. So this is just gonna kind of hold everything together. Our raised beds are all finished up, so now we need to uh, get the soil put in. But first, but first we need to mix up that soil. Uh, we're just using topsoil from our pasture. And then um, we have huge burn piles in that pasture also there's a bunch of wood that we had to burn up um, so we're going to take some of the wood ash from there and then um, some some chicken manure from of course our chickens and then we have some coconut core that um, we we're able to pick up for free so we're going to mix all that together and see what we can come up with
All right, we've got all four beds filled with dirt and ready to go. Each bed took two of our tractor buckets of soil. So we needed eight buckets in total of um, soil to put into the raised beds. We used three buckets of the wood ash, two buckets of the chicken manure and coconut core mixture, and then the rest was the topsoil that we used um, from the pasture. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's, um, it ended up being super fine um, and fluffy, easy to work with. So um, hopefully the plants like it as much as I do, but only time will tell. We're gonna start hand tilling the soil. Um, I don't have a rototiller or anything at the moment. So what we're going to do is take a shovel, dig it in, flip over the dirt and then kind of break it up and then I'll go back through with a rake and get it all nice and pretty for us to plant some radishes and cauliflower. sprouts here and we planted the bulbs so we'll see if they come up I've never done garlic before so it'll be interesting to see if and how those turn out and then this third foot of bed space is going to be our cauliflower according to the square foot gardening book you only put one cauliflower plant in each square foot so this is four feet across so I'll be able to put four cauliflower plants in I'm gonna mark out each foot and then just plant the seed right in the middle All right, we're planting the Rober cauliflower today. This is the only cauliflower variety that I bought. We're able to direct seed these six to eight weeks uh, before the last frost date. We're at about seven weeks out of our last frost date. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get these planted. The seed depth is a quarter to half an inch, so I'm just gonna make a little divot, um, pop them in there, and then cover them up. So we are gonna do this because we need cauliflower to keep us healthy. And since we are direct sowing these, um, in my indoor starts, I only did one seed per spot. I only did one seed per um, plant area. I'm gonna go ahead and do two seeds per um, spot, and then I will, don't plant anything yet. And then once I, if I get two to pop up, I'll just pick the better one to keep. There's three of them. 
I want you to put all three in that hole right there. Put them all in there. cauliflower in the ground. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple starts inside in case something happens to all of these um, just to have them and then if they all grow then I'll be able to give some away but this pack came with about 200 seeds so I should have plenty to go around if um, you know in the future years. All right now I'm on to the next bed. I'm going to go ahead and plant radishes in this one. Uh, we're going to plant them on this west side where my tomatoes will be in the summertime. So we've got it kind of shoveled. I'm gonna go back through and rake it. And then um, the radishes will run the length of the bed and then go two feet in. So we're not gonna plant anything on this half of the bed just yet. On the, I, I have two varieties of radishes. So I'm gonna plant my 18 day variety on one foot running the full length and then my 28 day um, radishes on the second foot running the length and then I'll plant in successions all the way down on my other beds um, so that's what we're doing today I'm gonna get this finished tilling up and then we'll get planting of radish seeds. Sorry, we don't have two. We only have one. Uh, four dollars, please. Four dollars? Just four. Okay. Okay, there you go. Can I have your other packet of seeds there? It's nine dollars. Nine dollars? I mean ten dollars. Ten dollars? Oh, well, I guess I, mean I need I mean twenty dollars. I only have ten. There you go. Thank you. Can I buy a peanut butter and jelly too? 50 bucks. 50? How about $2? <laughs> Thank you. We've got the ground worked and it's ready to plant some seeds. So real quick, I just made a template. Uh, you can buy these online. I think they're like 20 or $30, but I just use cardboard for mine. Um, so what this template helps me with is that it's a 12 inch by 12 inch template um, and there's 16 holes measured out um, and that makes it to where I'm not guessing how far apart to put my 16 radish seeds in the square foot area. So I've got the two varieties of radish seeds. I'm going to plant the purple plum radish on the inside two feet and then the um, day 18 jours, so 18 day radish on the outside. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to succession plant in the other beds um, in the upcoming weeks. So let's get planting. This is just one square foot. So like I was saying, we're going to put one row of 18 day radishes here. And then the next row is going to be the 28 day radishes here. So we're gonna start with the, actually let's start, yeah, let's start on the outside. Um, so we're gonna put the 18 day radishes. And I will only put one in each, um, one in each divot that I make. So 
gonna use my trusty highlighter to make my mark. Let me know if you've been able to get anything started um, outside in your garden just yet. I haven't covered them because I want to keep an eye on where I am on my 28 day radishes, the purple plums. Um, so we're going to get started on the purple plums. first direct sown seeds put in the garden they're all watered in and ready to grow if you want to see a video on how I have my garden plan laid out and how many of everything I'm planning on planting um, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get a video out there for you and now we're gonna get going on the next step of the project okay my next project to tackle is getting my um, north and south running fence line going um, I'm going to set up the fence posts I, on the east and west running fence, we did the T-posts six feet apart, so I'm gonna run my string line and then pound in the T-posts and then get the chicken wire stretched. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. This every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as two. two days of working on the garden area we finally got it ready to go the only thing that I'm missing is my gate and uh, we just haven't quite figured out what we're gonna use for that but let me show you around so walking in we have about a four foot gate section this is the farthest north point of the garden with a 24 foot stretch of fence We have eight raised garden beds. All of them are um, about 
four foot by seven foot. We have a 48 inch gap between all of them. And then this right here is a 40 inch gap. In this bed right here is where we planted the radishes. We have the 18-day um, radishes on the west side and then the 28-day radishes one foot in. This bed is where we planted the cauliflower right here and then I have the elephant garlic planted right there. Then as we go around we just have our perimeter fence right here and then this is the um, east side of the garden and this stretch of chicken wire fence that we just made. Um, I will probably be doing some um, in-ground planting on this section of the garden. All right, everyone, it got super windy out, so I had to come in um, to get this last little bit done. But I just wanted to thank you so much for hanging out with us while we finished up setting up the garden and getting some things in the ground. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.